you see the kids haven't got some great project. They had little transitory ones, you know, I, I made um, cardboard Norman castles. Um, when I was um, a sort of 11 year old, you know. They're very good castles. You know, walls and turrets and keeps. Uh, inside and outside and all that sort of stuff. Grey painted and on a board and... Uh, yeah. But I wasn't building anything in the world. I wasn't... Um, you know, got some grand design of influencing um, the world. I was just living, creating, happily creating. You might be cooking a nice meal. You might be tidying up the attic. You might be growing something in the garden. Um, yeah, lovely. Good. That's living. You'll find, if you have a thankfulness and an awareness that you wish to just enjoy what is and what you're doing, then uh, that will be a great help to you. You'll find the day is lovely. You'll be bringing joy to those around you. You'll be just accepting what they are and we may have to move away from some circumstances. Some people tend to avoid them. But where they're still there, you, you enjoy than being there. You're not there to change. You find the world as it is and find what's fascinating about it, what's interesting, what's good to know. And don't hang on to anything. You do what seems to be fun to do. When it stops being fun, when you stop and you have a rest. You might just lay on the floor as a kitty. Lay on the floor listening to mum, listening to the radio that was on. Might fall asleep. Might not. If something happens like it's tea time. Oh, mum's gone out in the kitchen. Get tea. Let's go and join her. Or perhaps I don't because I'm involved in playing with my bricks. You know, wooden bricks. Or I've got the cat on the lap, pussy. I'm sitting here, pussy. Pussy's purring. Pussy's as peaceful as I am. We're just together. I do like the cat. <laughs> My friend. Bless you. And you are blessed. You see, my world is made wonderful by the parents. Simple as that. I don't have to do. I just enjoy enjoying. I'm happy. 
is because, of course, I am loved, and because the parent is mum in this case, making sure things are good around me. I rely on her, you see. Not me, I don't understand, and I know I don't understand. I just find that it's best to just rely on her. I'm a child, and now I am a child of God. And I'm trained, you see, to do the same thing. I don't have to force God to do something that he's not doing anyway in the house or in the home. I'm not anxiously whining and pressing and asking, crying if I don't get my own way. I'm just enjoying being with mum and now with dad, my heavenly dad. And every day is good by His grace and love and kindness. And I find it good to thank Him for it, unless I lose consciousness of such and go hungering after what is less and all he's blessing me with. Love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad.